Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon, and believe it or not, we're going to do a Doctor Who video. We're gonna talk about the rumors that Jodie Whittaker might be quitting Doctor Who. This shouldn't surprise anybody. Uh, she will be on her third season as of, what is it, series, uh, series 13. Uh, most of the modern doctors step down after three years. Uh, it's not a surprise, and it's been kind of a long time coming. We're going to talk about some of the rumors that have been circulating that her agents were actually pushing her to jump ship from the burning TARDIS. So, uh, you know, we'll talk a little bit about the situation there. I can't really comment on the New Year's special, though, because I'll be honest, I care so little about Doctor Who at this point that I didn't even bother watching it. I forgot it was a thing. I had people writing me and they're like, hey, Neon, did you did you watch the Doctor Who New Year's special they had Captain Jack on? There were a lot of throwbacks. You might actually like this one. I am so apathetic to Doctor Who right now, uh, and especially this showrunner and this doctor, that I, I just didn't care. I might check it out, maybe, you know, but the last time I dipped into Doctor Who after colossal disappointment, they retconned the whole freaking show, and now I'm just angry. I was kind of numb to it before, but now I'm actively angry at what they've done to Doctor Who, and I don't want to put myself through that again, like a lot of fans. So we're gonna we're gonna talk about that. Maybe this, maybe it was good. I don't know. I'll get to it. But the point of this video is to talk about this rumor. Before we get into it, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We're at like 167,000 subs. Thank you for the support. 2020 in terms of YouTube has been very good to us. You guys have been very good to us. Uh, believe me, it is so appreciated. You have no idea uh, how appreciated it is, uh, especially given how bad things were for us uh, professionally with some other things going on. You know, our drama over a website we used to run and all of that just a year or two before. So to have you guys support us in the way that you have this year has just meant uh, so much. It's meant so much to us. So before we get into the rumor of Jody Whittaker leaving, uh, or, or getting ready to leave, we have to comment on the fact that this has been building up for a while. Uh, we got this covered who people say, you know, they're full of it. And sometimes they are, and sometimes they're not. I mean, rumors are just that. Sometimes they originate from legit sources, but plans change. Sometimes the sources aren't really legit. Sometimes they get half the story. In this case, the word on the street was that Jodie Whittaker's agents wanted her to quit the show. And, you know, they're basically, they were telling her to quit the show because one, you know, usually a doctor stays in the TARDIS for about three years, uh, say for Eccleston, right? But two, the show is not in a very good place right now. The ratings are bad. People are blaming Jodie Whittaker for the show's failings, and I don't believe it's all her fault. I think in the right role, she's a fine actress. I just don't think she has the uh, gravitas to be the doctor. In fact, I've said many times before, I think Joe Martin would have made a much better first female doctor than Jodie Whittaker because she feels more like the doctor. Unfortunately, Joe Martin is always going to be tied to this idiotic retcon that happened in The Timeless Child, Timeless Children. Uh, you can't really walk that one back unless you do some wibbly wobbly, uh, timey wimey stuff. So maybe you can. I don't know. But, uh, you know, these rumors have been circulating and now they're coming up again that this will be her last season going forward. And the BBC declines to comment. That usually is telling because they don't want to be accused of lying. So they give non-answers, et cetera. So Deadline put this out. Doctor Who, BBC refuses to deny a report that Jodie Whittaker is quitting the sci-fi series. Uh, the BBC has declined to comment on a report that Jodie Whittaker is set to hang up her sonic screwdriver and quit as the 13th Doctor in the British broadcaster's iconic show, Doctor Who. Uh, the well-connected Nicola Methven wrote in the Daily Mirror that Whitaker's departure is being kept under wraps while filming on season 13 continues. If she does exit the TARDIS, it will be in keeping with her predecessors who also completed three seasons before moving on. The Mirror cited a Doctor Who source saying it's all very hush-hush, but it is known on set that Jodie is leaving and they're gearing up for a regeneration. Her departure is top secret. Well, not now. <laughs> not now, but at some point over the coming months, the arrival of the 14th Doctor will need to be filmed. The report added that Whitaker's co-stars Bradley Walsh and uh, Tozen Cole will also leave the show, which they did, I guess, in the, the New Year's special. Uh, Amanda Gill will remain, and British comedian John Bishop is joining the cast. Uh, Chris Chibnall will also remain with the series. So I don't have any hope for it. 
I'm going to be honest. I, if Chibnall was leaving too, even if Jody was staying and Chibnall left, I think I'd be like, yeah, okay, maybe I'll give it another chance. The fact that Chris Chibnall is staying on board means it's going to be more of the same. It doesn't matter who the doctor is. It's going to be more of the same. The BBC was keeping quiet on Monday morning. A spokesperson said, we won't be commenting on any speculation around Jody's future on the show. Whitaker made history when she became the first female doctor in 2017. And yes, the show dropped off a freaking cliff. I don't think it's just because of there being a female in the TARDIS. In fact, the first episode with Jodie Whittaker, uh, the woman who fell to earth, got all crazy ratings. It was like 10 million something viewers, the highest ratings for Doctor Who in a long, long time. And it dropped week by week. You could see the numbers dropping off a cliff as it became apparent that this show was ham-fisted social commentary, not tactfully done like past episodes of Doctor Who or classic Star Trek, but in your face, magic school bus edutainment. And people got bored and tired of being preached at. And they tuned out. They just tuned out. And it, it is a shame because if you're going to have a female doctor, you need, and you're going to try to win people over, you have to give her the best possible uh, scenario to win people over. And Chris Chibnall did potential future female doctors a huge disservice by putting Jody Whittaker in such weak ass stories week after week, month after month, year after year. So now her legacy will probably be that she was unlucky 13, you know, <laughs> that, that this is when Doctor Who really started to decline on her watch. Uh, now, granted, there were some slips before uh, during the Capaldi era or whatever, but, you know, to see it go from 10 million viewers down to like, you know, whatever it's at right now. Uh, the final episode of Series 12 uh, drew in just 4.6 million viewers. I mean, this is low. This is really, really bad, guys. Uh, and it's a very expensive show to produce, and the BBC is probably running out of money at this point. And I don't know how much longer Doctor Who is realistically going to be on the air. You know, if the fan base is not there to support it, and, and this series has been very divisive, I would say Doctor Who has probably lost at least half of its fan base during the run of this series, and they're not coming back. I, I think a lot of people aren't going to come back. I, I'm not coming back. I don't give a shit. Uh, I cover the drama, but Doctor Who used to be one of my favorite shows. And at this point, I literally give less than a shit about the show. Couldn't even be bothered to watch the New Year's special. Uh, I know it'll probably just make me angry anyway, so I just tune out. You know, I just tune out. And a lot of other people are tuning out too. There are so many other things to watch on TV that are so much superior to Doctor Who that we really don't need the show anymore. Uh, not in its current uh, incarnation, that's for damn sure. Not in its current incarnation anyway, that's for damn sure. Uh, but you know, I'm trying to find reviews for the New Year's special, speaking of which, and I can't find a lot of reviews. It's Monday, it's days after New Year's, and there are only two critical ratings on Rotten Tomatoes, what's going on here? Uh, one's positive, one's negative. There are not a lot of audience score uh, reviews either. So there's definitely something going on here uh, with, yeah, what is going on? Oh, now we have three. Uh, IGN, positive. David Hogan, positive. And uh, Alex Moreland, negative. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. It, people were, I think people were losing interest in Doctor Who. There should be more audience scores, you'd think. I mean, it's like three days after New Year's. What's going on here? I don't know. They're probably, this is probably another case where they're going to uh, try to keep the trolls away, quote unquote, and uh, protect this show. But I think it's too late for most people. Captain Jack didn't even bring me back. I don't care. And uh, it sounds like Jodie Whittaker is checking out probably to save her career. Uh, good luck with that. I mean, I do think she's okay in other things. I just, I haven't liked her in Doctor Who. I don't know if it's all her fault. I don't know. I'm going to wrap it up. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, and we'll talk later.